Shalom, Shalom. Kaholayam Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Wahar Kakodash. This is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the world so ignorantly calls God. His name is Yahweh Bahashem, meaning coming in the name of, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the, our Lord and Savior, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus in the actual Hebrew, which are Hebrew names. I want to give double honors to all the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who teach this truth and who rule well. And shalom to all the Akim throughout the world. Peace, greetings, and salutations to you, brethren, that are keeping in this fight and keeping in this truth, you know, risking your lives every day to do so. And the few Akwata sisters that are listening to you, Yasharala, I want to say Shalom. So this lesson is about, you know, current ongoing events and um, Yahweh Rataza. It is edifying. Yahweh Rataza meaning Lord willing. It is edifying in the... <clears throat> And it, and it shall bear fruit. Bear fruit. So, um, current situations we got going on in the world. You know, the the system is who's led by Esau Edom are continually to going hard press, full court press, if you will, uh, going forward, putting these mandates. You, um, as far as wearing masks and you know receiving you know those Maxine waters, not wearing a mask. I believe there is some legislature, or it's been called, it's been demonized, but it has been caused. If you are that person, you are a so-called domestic terrorist. You know. And how much more so in down the line are they gonna actually demonize and make up, you know, words? I mean that's their MO, you know. <laughs> the Eagle, you know, America, Babylon two point has been going around killing people and doing bad stuff since shit. Way before it's an exception, it's inception, you know. Like even to this, up until this day, you know that red dragon, you know, and um, oh, we dropped a predator drone, you know, killed fifty civilians, uh, but we killed one guy, you know, and then we're and 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 they and they call that one guy a terrorist. Think about that. Who's been terrorizing the globe since the beginning? But that really wasn't the point of this lesson. But you know, it does correlate to the points that I wanted to bring out here. Um, so, yes, yes, Sharala, we are going to be demonized because we know, we know that we ain't going for these for these Maxine waters. You know, we're not taking that jab. You did, you know, and. Which is ultimately going to lead into the mark of the beast. To tell you the truth. Which is ultimately, ultimately going to lead into that mark and that chip. But the Lord said he would not forsake us. And that's the whole point of this lesson real quick. You know, the Lord got us back. You know, even through the bullshit that we're going to have to go through and everything around, we're going to be all right. We're going to be tight. Let me go ahead and bring up the scriptures now so it's just not some man talking, you know? So it's not <laughs> following the flesh. I just, I, I just kind of got woos. Had somebody on the comment board and another, on a post that I uh, posted on another brother's channel, and he was completely without understanding. So we're just going to hey, go ahead and get to the scriptures, you know, because this is not... It's not my words, but let's see what the scriptures say. You know, and then you, you know, going back to that Isaiah 28 and 10. 
you know, line upon line, you know, precept upon precept, line upon line, here, there, literally. That's how you're supposed to read the scriptures. That's how you have the true understanding of the Bible. You can't just take one scripture and then talk on it three hours, two hours, like, you know, most of these harlot houses do. You understand? Uh, so, but let's just go ahead and just, just dive right in. This is, uh, we're going to bring up the book of Psalms. This was kind of an impromptu lesson. Uh, I had a little time uh, on my break, um, my short break while I'm sitting here waiting um, to get loaded. So uh, let's go to 37, Psalms 37 and 25. It says, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteousness forsaken nor his seed begging for bread. You feel me on that one? Never seen that. We're not going to... You know, the Lord got us, man. You know, we're not going to wait. We're not... Look, and, 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 and that's a promise, man. Like, we're not going to be forsaken. And nor, you know, begging for bread. That's not what's going to happen to Yashirala. You know, well, I mean... Let me let me rephrase that. To the hopeful elect, you know, that one forty four and the hopeful elect, that one third, you know, then two third two thirds of our nation are dying. That's a big number. Alright. So and there's gonna be a lot of temptation though. There's gonna be a lot of fields that you're not gonna be able to work in. Without receiving this, you know, without receiving the, the 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 Maxine, the Maxine water, you know, without receiving that jab, you know, we don't know. They're gonna, you know, but it's all in the Lord's plans. A lot of come, a lot of people are gonna be out of work, and that's when the hour of temptation is going is cometh. You feel me? But the Lord said the servant, his servant shall be taken care of. Thus saith Isaiah 65, right? Let's go ahead and grab that. It's Isaiah 65. We'll go to the uh we'll go to 13. We'll start at 13. This is Isaiah 65 and 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Behold, my servant shall eat. But ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink. But ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice. But ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of the spirit. You see? We're going to be straight. You know, those of us that those of us that are following the laws, statutes, commandments of the Most High, getting it right, doing the works, searching out our own salvation in fear and trembling. That's what the scriptures say. We should be taken care of, and you have to trust in the Lord. You know, even man. Even way back in the Egypt when he let us out, what do you say? The Lord gonna fight for us. Let's say if uh, Exodus 14 chapter, correct? This is Exodus 14, and we'll go uh, we'll go to 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, and see the salvation of Yahweh, which He will show you in the day to the day. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today. Ye shall see them again no more forever. That's right. That's absolutely right. You should have no fear. You have no fear about what's about to come. The Lord got us, man. The Lord got us, Yasharala. Akia. The Lord got us. Thus say if uh, Isaiah, right? Doesn't it say that in Isaiah in the 41st chapter? Let's go ahead and grab that.
Yeah, the thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant, I have chosen thee, have not cast thee away. Fear not thou, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the righteous hand of my righteousness. All right? We'll just stop right there at 10. It's the point that I was trying to get. Actually, you know what? Let me bring out 11. Behold, all thee that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and that shall strive with thee shall perish. That strive with thee shall perish. Right? It's a beautiful scripture right there. Don't fear. In the end of the times, the men of the Lord were actually going to be bolder in the spirit. Thus saith wisdom of Solomon. All right, let's go to the wisdom of Solomon. And we'll bring up, uh, this is chapter 12 and 17. For men will not believe that thou art of a full power Thou showest thy strength, and among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. You see? It tells you right there. In them days, we're going to be more bolder. Right? Because we were going to have the abundance in those times. We're going to be protected in those times, Akim. Thus save second edges. What is that? Second edges. I believe in. Is it second edges? Second edges two, right? Second edges two. This, I think it's twenty six. Uh, yeah. Here it is, right here. As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish, for I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful, but thou shalt be merry and have abundance. We shall be merry and have abundance. 28. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord. Woo! That's cold right there. <clears throat> That's cold right there. I'm going to bring up this one final scripture. I didn't realize it was going to go this long. Um, I think it's uh, first. Um, no, 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 no. Uh, let's start in chapter 5. Uh, I think it's starting at 8. Yeah, there it is. Let's go grab these and we're going to end it on this. This is First uh, Thessalonians 5 and 8. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet and a hope of salvation. For Yahweh hath not appointed us to wrath, but to attain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we shall live together with him. Wherefore, comfort yourselves together and edify another, even as also ye do. So, there it is right there. Those are the scriptures. And the ball, ball, ball. Shalom.